Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Mark here with The Better Mark. And let's break down the April 4th Major League Baseball card. It's a short one, but we got a doubleheader going. We got a lot of good plays. I actually feel very strongly about a couple of my plays. So um, when that happens, you probably want to go against me. Just kidding. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys three official plays. We're going to break down each and every game, looking at the pitching matchups. I'll give you guys some of my thoughts and feelings and inclinations along the way. Uh, also, all of my leans in each of one of these games. In every one of these games. Uh, so let's get down into it. Okay. And first, uh, if you have not yet seen, uh, please subscribe down below. That button is right down there. It's totally free to do so. Please subscribe if you like daily betting content. We talk sports every day here on the channel. Uh, smash that like button as well. And as always, let me know your plays and picks down below in the comments box. Okay. Um, and this is one where uh, we're going to get into this slate. We have a double header, like I said, and it's one where we look into uh, the the basically five spots, but within that double header, um, that gives us a total of six games on the card. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys some of my thoughts along the way. Also, always stay in, in tune with what's going on with the weather reports within baseball. Uh, for those of the the, the um, teams that play in outdoor ballparks, it does make a difference within handicapping, as always. So make sure you guys check the weather reports, especially during this springtime weather. Okay, uh, but like I said, let's get into it. Uh, channel memberships are live in um, on the main page there. If you want to give back to the channel. Join on a channel membership level uh, where if you just want to give thanks, you win a big bet, uh, say cheers, you know, buy me a beer, all that good stuff. Um, that is a very good way to do so and give back to the channel because um, we are going to be deploying a few other things and features here uh, very, very shortly. So make sure you all turn that notification bell and stay tuned to what's coming uh, within the channel here. Okay. But let's get into that first game on the card. This will be my first official play as we look into the first game of a twin bill uh 12-10 first pitch Eastern time, Detroit taking on the New York Mets. Uh, we're going to be backing the Mets 0-4 to start the season and the Tigers 4-0. So uh, for all those general managers out there, that really is going to make your head scratch. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to be playing in City Field. Okay, so New York Mets at home. Um, I do like the fact that uh, Detroit's rolling out Casey Mize, a, a phenom uh, that in his own right, a very highly touted prospect coming up through the ranks. But um, this is just a play, a reversion to the mean, some value on the Mets, minus one. 25, coupled with the fact that Casey Mize hasn't thrown a ball professionally in in quite some time. So we're going to be back in that, especially with a doubleheader. Sometimes you get a little bit of some angst. Um, also, if the Mets do drop this game, uh, I will be looking to be backing them uh, in the second game of that slate. Uh, weather dependent where, um, you know, hopefully it's one where they do win, but there are some betting trends where I play a system play where I always take the second half of a doubleheader. Uh, you the, the odds of a team going 2-0 and or 0-2 are very, very low. Uh, it always seems to come out 1-1. One and one. And if you bet that over the course of the season, it's a very profitable system, okay? So we are going to be taking in that first game the New York Mets minus 125 as my first official play. Um, next, we're going to look into uh, the Pirates, Washington. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of the stuff going on with that. That is a no play for me. Josiah Gray, uh, you know, having... Uh, not really the best outing for the Nats. Uh, Pirates 5-1 and one on the season, a very strong start. Um, you know, Martin Perez not able to get the win in the last uh, timeout, but one where he's pitched very, very strong. So it would be one where uh, probably lean towards taking the Pirates, but no official play uh, in that game. Okay, next, um, this is one where we will have a play. Uh, okay, going against my squad, the 5-2 and two Guardians, 4-10 uh, first pitch. We look at the likes of Tanner Beebe going against Pablo Lopez, and Lopez has thrown an absolute gem his first outing. Um, and, you know, Beebe, uh, not necessarily uh, the best showing for him, but uh, still looking to bounce back. I do think there's some value. Twins are a great, well, at least for 2023, um, they were a great home ball club against the spread, uh, winning as well uh, on the money line. So I am going to be taking uh, the, the Twins straight up, minus 144. I was able to lock in within this contest. Taking the better picture, uh, the better home field uh, team, and I do think the Guardians are set up for some reversion to the mean. I'm not really on board with this 5-2 and two start, uh, despite them being my club. I just don't see them uh, keeping that train rolling, okay? Um, but those are going to be my first... Uh, two official plays, and we're going to get into the last two games on the card. All right, the Miami Marlins, uh, St. Louis Cardinals. That will be where I'm backing the Cardinals, uh, albeit Lance Lynn is pitching. Uh, this is one where the Miami Marlins, 0-7. Wow, just say that a couple times and really get your uh, get your blood boiling. I, I was backing them uh, twice uh, where we look into 
um, some of the losses I've had, some of the few losses within the major league uh, since the major league opening start where I took the Marlins a couple times. Uh, but that's something where both of these teams are traveling, and I just do not do not like the pitcher that, quite frankly, the Marlins are throwing out. When you're 0-7 and you need a win, uh, you're going against a good ball club on the road with a great lineup. Uh, you do not want to be throwing Ryan Weathers. Okay, 0-1, 6.75 ERA. Uh, and it's something where, you know, I, I do look for the Cardinals 3-4. and four. They need to win this game too. They have higher standards, higher uh, hopes and aspirations for this season. Uh, so, yes, it is a grind. It's not just the first eight games you're going to judge yourself. Uh, and really, But they have a bar set there in St. Louis where um, they expect to win this game. They're going against a sub par lackluster pitcher uh, so I do see some value taking the Cardinals uh, if you can find that money line less than minus 150 out there in the market okay and then the last game on the card we're going to go Kansas City and Chicago White Sox um, probably a little bit of a weather issue I'm not certain in that regard but uh, the White Sox one and four Kansas City two and four I mean is this just you know the ghost of Terry Francona if you will I, I just think the Guardians are going to—I'm not going to call them the Guardians. i got to quit that. It's the Indians. Uh, I think they're going to seriously just kind of, you know, mosey on on down to a uh, AL— um, you know, a, a division, a division title within uh, what they're doing within the Central. I, I just cannot believe that. You know, we look into it time and time again, and how bad some of these teams can be in the in the AL Central. Um, I mean, the Tigers are real, and uh, the Royals, you know, having some big wins, but by all accounts, they should not be 2-4. and four. They should be 1-5, one 0-6, one uh, oh truthfully. Um, you know, having some outliers where they were able to win, like I think 7 nothing um, against good quality opponents, but uh, it's something where you look into these teams, the White Sox probably the biggest threat uh, alongside of the Twins, and the White Sox are 1-4 and four on the season, so um, this is a very, very important matchup. I know it's early, but um, these divisional games do add up, and you know, why not open up a futures play within having the Indians uh, winning that central division? Uh, who knows? Maybe end up getting a little plus money on, on your futures bet. Um, not something I'm looking to tie up funds in, but it is something where it just seems like they they're going to find a way to win the central, uh, and it's going to be one where because I do not believe in um, in what kind of team that they're rolling out. That uh, despite me wanting to with every aspiration and and um, you know. Uh, bone in my body wanting the root for the Guardians. I got to separate the two from a betting perspective. So I've been fading them and they've been kind of kicking me. Uh, so, but we are going to keep this going. I do want to recap my official plays. Uh, it's been a hot start for the Major League Baseball season uh, within my picks here on the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, make sure you check out the channel memberships down below for YouTube. Um, we are starting something. So, you know, you hit a good bet. You want to get some private perks. Sign up for my channel membership uh, and buy me a beer, basically, kind of format. Nothing crazy in that regard, but we are going to be dropping a Patreon as well uh, so I can give you guys some more premium content as well uh, here on, this, on the channel. So thanks all for being part of the team. Remember to check out odds jam links down below uh, good luck with your plays uh, baseball is very hot this time of year i like it early on too we can really get out in front of some some key key data points before um, the odds makers start to accumulate all this data and, and then the numbers start to really shift shift out there in the market so um, those are my plays three official plays uh, within tonight's smaller card uh, but i do feel very confident about these so we'll see what happens we'll see you guys all tomorrow follow-up video and my picks for friday coming at you hot tomorrow on the channel. So thanks. Let's go cash some tickets. Cheers.